I secured an All India rank 166. I followed this exact same schedule for the next 10 months or so. And guess what? My worst fears came true. Getting a rank in GATE exam is sometimes not enough to get a seat in top IITs. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Garima. I'm a software engineer at Google in London and today we will discuss about my gate preparation journey in detail. Why and how did I start? What challenges did I face? The success and more importantly the failures I encountered. We'll discuss everything in much more detail. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in more content like this. Without any further ado, let's get started. I was in my third year when I actually started thinking about what I'm going to do after BTEC. The only thing I was sure of is I didn't want to start working. I had no interest in getting placed and fortunately I did not have any financial dependencies either. The only thing I knew is I wanted to study further. So I started exploring my options and the first thing that, ca uh, that I came across was GRE. So I started preparing for GRE which is a test that you take if you want to study abroad. GRE is like an aptitude test with average 10th standard maths but highly proficient English. I was confident about quantitative reasoning section so I directed all my attention towards verbal and analytical reasoning. However, I never really enjoyed the preparation. Memorizing a vocab of more than 1000 words and practicing reading comprehension was really boring for me. That's when I came across GATE an entrance exam for admission to postgraduate programs. Part of me really wanted to study at IITs, a dream that could not be fulfilled during bachelors. So I decided to give it a shot. I did a lot of research online, checked out the syllabus, and then I concluded that I have three options. Number one, I prepare everything by myself by reading all the standard textbooks for each subject. Number two, I take an online course by Ravindra Babu Rawala and prepare everything at my own pace, at my home. Number three, I join some offline classes at any coaching institute. I went with option three because I really enjoy the classroom environment. It brings the best out of me. So I decided to join Made Easy. It was a weekend batch that I joined because I had to go to the college on weekdays and my classes commenced in February 2019 which was my pre-final year of BTEC. As you may know, there are 10 computer science subjects that we need to prepare for and at Made Easy, we were taught one subject at a time. The classes were really long, like from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I couldn't get much done on weekends other than just going and attending all the classes and taking notes. I honestly loved attending the classes. The teachers were amazing and my interest in computer science peaked. I enjoyed studying all the core computer science subjects like algorithms, operating systems, DBMS, etc. And unlike GRE, I was actually enjoying my preparation for GATE. I learned so much that I was even able to crack an on-campus decent job solely on the basis of my GATE preparation. I never really practiced coding very much while I was preparing for GATE, but still I was able to get a job. Now, coming to my preparation strategy. As I said, on weekends, I couldn't get much done other than just going to the class and taking notes. I made sure I never missed any class. And then coming to the weekdays, I would revise my notes. I would start solving the workbook parallelly. And also I made sure that I always complete the previous year gate questions from that specific topic. Now, of course, when you're solving questions, you will have doubts. So I made sure that I cleared all my doubts in the following classes so that I'm never lagging behind. And I followed this exact same schedule for the next 10 months or so. Honestly, it does get challenging when you have to manage your final year project, your college exams along with your preparation, but it's definitely manageable. The entire syllabus was over by November and all there was left was just to practice. And that's when I bought an online test series. And one month before the final exam, I made sure that I take one full test every day so that I'm totally comfortable with the exam setting. My dream was to get into IIT Bombay and I was scoring really well in the test. So I was confident that I will make it. Anyway, the big day arrived in February 2022. And guess what? My worst fears came true. Apparently the exam was a lot tougher than last year 
and I could only attempt like 60% of the questions. I was so dejected that I remember I actually cried when I got back home. I thought I had ruined it. I didn't even bother to look at the answer key. It was only when my friends told me about the difficulty of the paper that I actually went ahead and calculated my score. Results were then announced like a month later and I secured an All India Rank 166 which was not enough to get me into IIT Bombay but I did manage to get into IIT Delhi. Now a very important detail that you may not know which is Getting a rank in GATE exam is sometimes not enough to get a seat in top IITs. You may not know that IITs actually conduct additional set of tests, sometimes interviews, and then they offer you a seat based on your performance in the test and your GATE rank. For example, I remember IIT Delhi has a separate interview and IIT Kanpur conducts a theory test, uh, an online coding round and then based on your performance in those interviews and tests, only then are you offered a seat in those IITs. But uh, IITs like uh, IIT Bombay, IIT Guwahati, IIT Kharagpur, they just offer you seats solely on the basis of your gate rank. That's it. That was my entire experience. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Drop your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye.